Are you thinking of getting started with SketchUp or if you are a BIM user who want to take a peek into SketchUp then this video is right for you. What's going on fellas, I'm Geo and this is Geo Creations. You can find me on Instagram as Geo German. Let's jump right into the video. BIM software is really great while doing typical buildings and structures but when it comes to generating ideas and doing conceptual work, it just can't beat SketchUp. This is part 1 of the SketchUp series. In this video, we're gonna cover the basics and the things you need to know to start with SketchUp. So without any further ado, let's get started. Ok, this is our SketchUp window. Before starting, let's set up our workspace. First of all, let's bring the large toolbar and to do that, right click on here and select large tool set. Now we can get rid of our getting started toolbar. Before starting with the model, let's take a look at some basic shortcuts. Take a screenshot if necessary. Now I'm going to explain each tool and its properties. This one over here is line tool and the shortcut key is L. Click on where you need a starting point and now click on the ending point or else you can just type in your dimension. This is used to draw lines and SketchUp automatically forms a surface if the lines form a closed area. But make sure that the line is not going out of the axis. So just make sure that the line is highlighted with the respective axis. Press up arrow to lock on blue axis, right to lock on red and left for green. And the down arrow key can help you to lock on any other custom axis. To do that just hover over a line which is faced towards your custom axis and now hit the down key. The magenta line shows up and you are good to go. If you need to draw something on a tilted plane, or draw a rectangle using the key R. Make it a group by selecting it, right click on it and make group. Let's rotate it to get a tilted plane. To activate the rotate tool, press Q. Now click on where you need that to be an anchor point. Select the axis by toggling the arrow keys and now click on the reference point and you can rotate the plane. Now just draw your desired shape over it and you can form a surface. To erase a particular path, you can just select it and hit the delete button. Or you can use the erase tool by using the shortcut key E. And now you can seamlessly erase out anything you don't want. To draw curves, you can use the arc tool. The shortcut key is A. Click on the starting point using the arc tool and the ending point as well. And now you can adjust the curvature of the arc or you can set a custom radius. To draw a circle, you can use the shortcut key C. Click on where you need the center to be and now type in the required radius or else place it at any point where you need the edge of the circle to be. And if you need to create a polygon, you can just reduce the segments of the circle. To do that, click on the edge of the circle and in the default tab under the entity info, you can see an option called segments. Now the circle has 24 segments. If you reduce it to 3, it becomes a triangle. Likewise, you can make a polygon of any number of segments. Now we got to know how to make 2D surfaces. And now let's get into making 3D object. For getting started with 3D objects, you need the tool called push pull. The shortcut key is P. Using this tool, you can easily extrude any 2D surface. Also you can subtract certain parts from the extruded form. These are the basic things you need while stepping into SketchUp. Now leave a like if you learned something new, subscribe to join our small community, leave your suggestions in the comments below or leave a DM on my Instagram. Signing out for now, catch you guys in the next video, see ya.